Welcome everyone. Today we're looking at creating an iframe embedder using H5P on WordPress. So just a little disclaimer, this is basically an iframe. There's nothing special about it. Um, as, for, as of now, H5P on WordPress, you can't really embed H5P content. You can't really import H5P content into it. So we're using it as a normal iframe embedder. So you can embed basically any content that other websites allow you to embed. So it could be images, documents, videos, presentations, or other websites themselves that you can embed. And we will look at how to do that. Or you can embed documents from your own website using this iframe to, uh, to display like PDFs. But what we have done here is we've embedded a Prezi presentation into this module. So you can see this was not made by me. It was made by someone else. And this is a Prezi presentation about uh, scaffolding using H5P. And this is just a presentation. You set the width and the height of the iframe of the embedder and you can full screen as well to go through this presentation. Exit the full screen and it's got some controls. All of the controls, everything you see is part of the presentation itself. It's not part of the embedder. There are really no, no settings for the embedder other than choosing the width, the height, and the source for the embedder. That's it. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at how we can use this embedder and how we can add a new one. Also to, uh, to remind you that you can't use this embedder in other H5P content like an interactive workbook or presentation. They don't support this module. It would be great if they did. That would give you a lot more options for content that you can bring in. But as, as of now, they don't. And hopefully in the future, that changes. All right, let's take a look at how we can create an iframe embedder using H5P on WordPress. Let's get started creating an iframe embedder using H5P on WordPress. So first thing you want to do is come down to your H5P content and you want to add some new content. And from the module list, you want to scroll down and find the iframe embedder. If it's not installed, click on get to get it. And then you click on the module to create this module. give it a title we'll call it the embedder and for width this is the width of the iframe let's say 600 so all of these numbers are pixels so 600 you can say px or if you just type in 600 you'll read that as well let's type px minimum width so minimum width that has to do with responsiveness. Say that you set your um, your width to 1000, but your screen is smaller than that. Your screen width is only 700. So if you leave it, if you leave it at, at 1000 and you view it with a 700 pixel uh, wide display, you'll have some horizontal scroll because your width is larger than your display so you need to scroll horizontally but if you make it smaller this embedder could also be responsive so it can be it can get smaller and smaller as your screen is smaller but you can set a minimum width that beyond this width it doesn't get any smaller so if I say my minimum width is 300 
and I resize my screen to smaller than 300, my embedder or my iframe will be at 300. That is the minimum width. It will not go any smaller than 300. So 600, if my display supports that, if my display is large enough, if my display is smaller, the smallest it could be is 300. That is basically it. For the height, you can't have an auto height. That would be great, but you can't. So you have to set a height depend, depending on what you're embedding. So you have to know what you're embedding. So for me, I'll say 600 px or pixels. That's the height and I can change it depending on depending on the content that I embed. Straightforward and the last thing, the only thing left is the source. So unfortunately there are a lot of limits with the uh, iframe embedder from H5P on, on WordPress. I think Drupal is more flexible and supports more more content but with WordPress there isn't much that you can embed so it's basically just an iframe embedder because I tried to get I tried to get a uh, I tried to embed some h5p content and I wasn't able to and I read up on it and there is uh, some permission problems with WordPress and the uh, the embedder that you can't really embed um, h5p content but you can embed a lot of other stuff and I'll go through a few things that we can embed here so you can embed pictures or files for example if you have a picture that you want to embed you can click on it you can get the file URL and come back here and we paste the link. We go up and we create this. So we should have our picture embedded in here. So here is our picture and it's embedded in here and the width is 600 by 600. You can also make it bigger. So that's embedding an image Something a little bit more useful is embedding something like this. So you can embed PDFs as well. So that's one useful thing. So what you can do is you can find the PDF that you want, you open it, but this is opened on a website that I'm looking at. You grab, you grab the URL for this PDF. You come back here and you paste it. And this is from grammarbank.com, support files. And this is the link to the PDF. So now when I update, I have a PDF embedded and I can put this anywhere on my site. You can upload a PDF to your own website. So if you go to media, add new, add a PDF, grab the link, put it in the embedder, and you can display it anywhere for anyone to see. So you can do that with any type of content, any type of content files. So we have pictures, we have PDFs, we've also got websites. Some websites allow you to embed them into your own website but a lot of other websites won't let you and they don't allow it and it will say uh, connection denied. So one thing you can do here is you can, let's, okay, so you copy, you copy the URL of this website. This is what it's called here. This is just a random website. I'll go back to edit.
called vmix.com. I'm not affiliated. This is just a website that I came across. I update and this is the vmix website. I can full screen it but I can basically embed another website into my website. It's a basic iframe if you have any experience with iframes. But as you can see here my height is only 600 and this website is longer than 600 and I don't have a scroll so it's cut off. So one thing you can do is make the height a lot a lot more so you can fit in the full website. So that's another another use you can make out of that. Go back so you can reset files or online documents, websites or you can embed presentations. So I'm sure everyone's familiar with Prezi for presentations. So you just find any presentation you want from Prezi. You can click on the embed and you can just grab the source. This has already got an iframe so if you actually just grab this and put it into your website it will create an iframe which is basically what we're doing. So you grab this is the height and the width of the iframe that you can change. So we grab the source, this is the source, and we go back to our website, we put that in the source, and we click update. And as you can see here, we've got our Prezi presentation here. You can click on play, and it's fully fully functional, interactive, but for the height, the height is too much. So let me go back actually and see what the height was. 315, that's what they used. So I can do the same thing. I can just put maybe 350, give it a little bit of room and update. looks a lot better now so I can click on play and this is a presentation about H5P and you can just go through the presentation and it's really cool and you can embed this anywhere or you can show this anywhere onto your website. So to get this on your website you click on the short code, you copy it, select it and copy it, you add it to a post or a page so you go to post, add new to add a new post. Okay this is This is our post, so we'll give it we'll give it a number. We'll call it number 39, and this is an iframe embedder. And you want to add a new block, and you are looking for a short code, and we paste our short code in here. So right now, um, WordPress doesn't have a, a native iframe embedder. So if you did want to embed an iframe in here, you would have to put an HTML. So you need an, a custom HTML and then you can put your iframe code in there. So this kind of does help here with uh, H5P. And you have some control over the width and height, which you, you would as well with an iframe. But this is kind of, uh, it's a bit more clean. And then you want to publish, publish, and let's view our post to see what it looks like. And there is our 
our iframe embedded in here. And click on play. And it loads it. So this content right now is loading from Prezi. It's not loading from my website. So it's not hosted on my website. It's basically just opening a window into that website that I got this content from. So there could be some problems if you if you have a, a website, an HTTP website with no SSL certificates and you try to bring in, um, or if you have a secured website with SSL certificates and you try to bring in some content from a non-secure website, you can't do that. There are a lot of, a lot of little details that, that you have to go through with the uh, embedding stuff. But it works here, could be full screen. It works nicely. Got the two buttons here. These two buttons are from the presentation itself. It's not from um, it's not from uh, H5P. So you go home or go up. Exit the full screen. So that is basically it. So you can embed PDFs, uh, pictures, videos. You can embed. Uh, websites and you can embed presentations so basically anything any website that offers um, embeddables things that can be embedded you can just grab the code and put it in here because they use the same they use the same uh, process to uh, embed stuff like I said before this this module itself is not very developed for WordPress. It could be for other platforms because on WordPress you can't even embed H5P content. So that's that's something to keep in mind and Also, you can't you can't use this as part of a a question set or an interactive workbook or a presentation, or else it would have been really useful. If you could get this into a presentation or a workbook, then you just you open up a lot of a lot of different things that you can bring in, a lot of different types of presentations, websites. Um, content that you can bring into the presentation or the interactive workbook but as far as I know that is not supported um, for now hopefully there is support for that in the future so that was that was it creating an iframe embedder using h5p on WordPress if you found this helpful please let me know if you have any questions or comments or if you know of a way to add or embed H5P content, please let me know. I will definitely do a follow-up with anything you guys um, give me. Or if you used it for something else, let us know how you used it. That's it. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time.